Hi there and welcome to the App Builder Summit. My name is Malcolm Collins from UEO Games and I'm going to be taking you through some of the key features of our cross-platform development tool, GameMaker Studio, showing you what it can do for you and why you should be using it to develop your Windows Store games. UEO Games are the creators of the fastest cross-platform game development tool available today, GameMaker Studio. Based in Dundee, Scotland, UEO Games was set up in 2007 by Sandy Duncan to showcase the wealth of talent coming out of the vast community already surrounding uh, the existing toolset game maker. On realising the potential of some of these games, YoYo then also began publishing uh, the cream of the crop onto early mobile platforms uh, such as PSP and iOS. Over the next year, YoYo published over 15 games using Game Maker, adding Android, Mac OS X, and HTML5 to their target platforms. However, in May 2012, Yoyo released what we call Game Maker Studio, which allowed developers to not only develop their games 80% faster than with other tools, but also to target and export natively to Windows Desktop, iOS, Android, Mac OS X, um, and HTML5, um, opening up the entire mobile market to the indie development community. So nearly one year on, and Game Maker Studio is downloaded now over one million times with over 20,000 paid developers now using GameMaker Studio to develop and release their games cross-platform from what just one code base and to iOS, Android, Mac OS X, HTML5. We've now added Ubuntu, Steam Workshop, Windows, Windows Phone 8, and Windows Store supporting both x86 and ARM architectures. As if that wasn't enough, developers can also monetize and analyze their user base uh, with advertising, in-app purchases, and analytics, all from within the toolset. The Studio framework is based around a resource tree in which you create objects that implement behaviours using an event system, either through drag and drop functions or using GameMaker's own powerful C-like scripting language called GML. From there, users bring all the elements of their game together in what we call a room, which is basically a level or a screen that provides the glue for all the resources of, of your game. And it's therefore through this combination of um, simple to use drag and drop as well as a powerful scripting language that you can drop down to, and the studio can rapidly increase developer productivity and decrease the development time. So having developed your game in record time, how do we go about exporting it and publishing it cross-platform? Well, this is kind of Game Maker's party trick. When completing your game, you simply select your target platform, be it iOS, Android, or Windows Phone, and hit Export. Game Maker Studio's runners then take care of the rest, compiling your one source code into multiple native applications, such as IPAs, APKs, Apex, or Zap. From there, you can then add adverts, in-app purchasing, analytics, as well as cater to each platform's specific features, such as Windows 8, uh, Charms, App Bar, Snap View, and Live Tiles. So with a feature set like that, Game Maker Studio must be pretty expensive. Well, here's the thing, only $99 for the professional version, which gives you access to the IDE's full feature list, Windows Store x86 and ARM, and Mac OS X export, as well as enabling the addition of all your other export modules. GameMaker Studio is the most cost-effective development tool available for ensuring that your game reaches the largest audience possible. To see a full list of features and prices, uh, you can head over to yoyogames.com. You know, or stick around after this to ask us a few questions. So we've talked a little bit about Game Maker Studio, but what we really want to do now is give you a quick demonstration um, as we put together a game within Game Maker, and it's going to show you some of the key features and what really makes Game Maker Studio unique. So we're going to put together a game we like to call Angry Cat Space, uh, based on a popular physics-based game that you may recognise, uh, using our uh, physics subsystem built on the popular Box 2D engine. Uh, we'll start by looking quickly at the layout of Game Maker Studio, specifically at the resource tree here on the left. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is where we add all our sprites, sounds, timelines, fonts, objects, and rooms, etc., which go to make up our game. Um, as you can see, we've already added in a few sprites and objects here. So the first thing we're going to do then is take a look at an object. Um, so our game is made up of objects uh, in Game Maker, within which we add behaviors using an event system. So for example we can add a create event which ex executes a piece of code on game startup or an alarm which will restart our level or a draw event which will draw our backgrounds etc.
the next thing to look at then is uh, a room. Now, a room in Game Maker is just a level or screen that contains our object uh, that will then implement the behaviors and provide the glue for the, the graphical or audio resources within the project. Uh, we've already added our behaviors and objects to this room, so to test it, all we need to do is select our target platform from the drop down. We're going to use Windows 8 native here, and then simply hit run. So we can see our first room here gives us a simple navigation of the level, moving left and right, panning the room around with some parallax backgrounds. Now if we go ahead and close this, we'll take a look at adding some physics to our game. To do this, we'll add in the behavior of the objects within the room. This is easily constructed using our built-in C-like scripting language, GML, that can be used to build powerful behaviors. Um, an inheritance system then lets you implement these behaviors on multiple entities, which can then be specialized by adding a parent object that allows us to add collisions and behaviors using vents to allow our blocks to collide with the planet, collide with other blocks, collide with our, our mice that we're going to put in the game, and collide with our cats as well. So now creating various block types is easily done by simply specializing the create event and adding the appropriate variable initialization. And if we run it again on Windows 8, we can see the blocks which we added as well as creating new blocks eh, on a mouse click that we've set up here, which react within the physics environment that we've set up as well. Um, so you can see as we click around the planet, the blocks are drawn towards um, the center of it, and eh, defined by the, the gravity and the physics of it. Now let's look at how we add an R catapult to the game. So the slingshot object um, seen here simply places a cat in the, sling in the slingshot. Then once the left mouse button is released, it applies an impulse to the cat and sends it into the air under the control of the physics system. And again, if we just run it um, here to show you this in action, it's worth it's worth noting that it's this ability to test your game instantly on your target platform as we're doing here um, at any point in your development which makes Game Maker Studio so much faster to develop with. Um, you know, like so at the moment we can um we're running it on Windows 8 native, but we can the same way we can run it on Android, run it on iOS, run it on Windows Phone, um and, and see it directly and um, push to that device to test it immediately. So now we see if we pull back our slingshot, it applies the impulse in-game that we set to the cat, which is then pulled in by the gravity assigned to the center of the planet. So we've also added tracers here just as our cat flies around. So to finish off our game, we've added a front-end menu simply by creating the sprites over here again in our resource tree that you saw before, and then assigning them to a front-end menu object, which will give the appropriate behaviors to draw them on the screen, and now that allow the player to launch the game simply by clicking on them. We then add this object to a new room called Front End Menu, um, and when we run the game, if we uh, select Windows 8 again, we see our Front End Menu and our finished game. Um, so we can see that with just a few simple yet powerful tools, it's possible to complete a playable game in a very, very short period of time using Game Maker Studio. So that's it for our little introduction to YoYo Games and Game Maker Studio today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to stick around and we'll answer as many as we can. Um, else, thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you very much.